Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>Schwartz from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Thanks for stopping by guys and gals. Thanks for checking out the research for connecting and those of you subscribing to the channel. We're almost well, we are now we've touched 56,000. I thank you all for the interest and I hope more will continue to come on by and leave their comments and connect with us in the community. This amazing community. Good weather is coming. That's why I'm trying to stay positive. My foot's doing good. <laughs> it's melting out here now, but the weather is pretty haywire up and down, up and down. We'll see some nice close-ups of Copernicus Crater and Aristillus Crater. We're going to see the massive square that I've found over top of it. It's right over it. Do you know that? Aristillus Crater has a massive rectangle with part of the rectangle object sitting on top of it. And that object beside Aristillus Crater is actually see-through because we can see the surrounding crater as it continues underneath uh, the corner of that rectangle that's sitting over top of it. And that's what we're going to go see a bit later. So thanks for stopping by, everyone. I'll get some music up. Soon to be hearing uh, more and more of my music at one point, that's for sure. But I'm devoting all my time to this research. That's what's most important for us. But, you know, when I... Uh, I get a chance once in a while, I will make some songs and music, uh, both music tracks and probably some songs, and I will post them up here um, for you guys, just for the fun of it. Why not, right? To get go along with these amazing videos. So this is clear footage. And get this, if you guys want to know when this was filmed, it's all February footage. Obviously, throughout the month, I filmed, I filmed for eight or nine hours during February, so I have a lot of footage. And that's what we're looking uh, through until only in a couple of days because the moon is already out. It's getting big by the hour. And in a couple of hours or days, I will be back outside on the moon getting some amazing footage. Lots of new videos and stuff coming this week and the next. Thanks for the support, everyone.
eight to nine hours in February for two days. I have over 15 to 16 hours of footage of the moon from February. So that's what we're looking through. And at least we have that for rainy days and more or less waiting for the next moon phase to come by. Was really pleased with the infrared um, captures this week. And let me tell you, it's not easy at all to get a capture of a meteor going by, but it's not impossible. You do have to get rechargeable batteries. I learned that the hard way. Uh, yeah, like $20 an hour for a session. It was really expensive for the batteries. And um, those machines are strong machines. The infrared machine obviously takes up a lot of juice depending on what functions you're using with your infrared machine. And look at the colors here as we're going down. So yeah, we'll be getting more infrared at eight or nine hour sessions to be able to catch six or seven astronomical events. Well worth the wait and it's exciting. It's like the lottery ticket. You don't know if you're going to win or not. Something I've never bought in my life. Lottery tickets. Do they work? I have no idea. Inside Mare Serenitatis, we can see these descending levels. Patches, squares, cutout. Speaking of squares and patches and cutouts, we're going to go see Aristillus Crater. That's the crater right there. The tur turquoise crater right here that you're looking at. Look beside it, what's there. Isn't it fascinating? That's right. The perfect rectangle. Hey guys, I've showed over, those of you following me know it, I've showed over six or seven of these squares on the surface and they're perfectly symmetrical. This one's literally see-through. We can see Aristillus Crater underneath and the colors and the edge of the crater. So that's pretty fascinating. We're gonna go see that in different uh, views, uh, closer up obviously, and uh, we're gonna invert it and we're going to see exactly if we can see it any better through the inversion and yeah we can see it probably just as well we see that there's a square there some type of rectangle uh square i'm going to get also uh the square over it for you i want you guys to see it I, for whatever the reason some of you really don't either take the time to see what i'm showing sometimes but it's there and uh yeah objects lined all around this square object it goes down so you're literally looking at some type of outpost or uh, installation that's literally on the edge of Aristillus crater and it makes me laugh that you know even myself after all these years not seeing it they keep appearing keep popping up it's right in front of our faces um, everything made to look deliberately natural but not natural enough and um, that's the proof that I feel that they did not necessarily entirely try to hide everything just sort of tried to hide stuff but you see other squares popping up here and there. Hey guys, I'll get another video up for you guys tonight. Thanks for the ongoing support. I just want to thank all of you for following the research and for taking the time to subscribe to this channel.